So for today, we're going to be looking at the other exotic that the hunters got, the speed loader slacks. And we're going to be looking at how it shaders, what it actually does first. And then after that, I'll give you my first example set. Do be aware that I do use the same shader as the uh, video from this one, <laughs> just because I did them at the same time. And I just really love that shader. So if you are bothered by that, um, just imagine it with another shader. I don't know what to tell you. So if you guys like the video, like, comment, subscribe, I really do appreciate y'all. Let's just get into it. So for the slacks, the armor perk is called tight fit dodging boost reload speed handling and airborne effectiveness for you and nearby allies while the buff is active final blows and additional dodges increase the buff strength and refresh the timer maxes out at five stacks i'm gonna be real with you guys this one is uh not that great i'm not a big fan of it like dodging boost reload speed handling and airborne effectiveness i don't care about any of those this strictly is like a pvp perk to me because like in pve it's like Reload speed is nice, I guess, but like, nah, like I don't really care for it that much. It is cool that like, I can give it to nearby allies, but like there's just so many other exotics that I'd rather use that it would actually be more beneficial. Like uh, maybe I can use like fit the fish pants or the pants that give me an extra arrow or like uh, anything else really. So for PVE, I just don't really see the, the need. I This is the first exotic that I picked up as well. So like I've used it more like a lot and i'm just kind of like not that not that impressed i'm gonna be real with you guys i think i think the hunters did not get any good exotics at least like for my initial like testing i was just like eh, these are all pvp exotics i don't really care uh i'm definitely looking at titans and warlocks kind of like man y'all got some cool shit man must be nice because like the helmet Aside from the helmet proccing woven mail, which is super cool, but you also get stuck with grapple, which is like one of the worst grenades. Uh, it's cool for PvP again, like I said. And then this one's like reload speed handling and airborne effectiveness. That's cool, but it's like only procced with a melee. Like, but you you can get you can increase the buff if you kill stuff. But it's like uh, I don't know. I don't want to be too negative about it because like these two look cool. They are cool. It's just like. I don't know. I guess if we had a better uh, exotic that was better suited for, for strand, then I probably wouldn't be mad. Cause like maybe we could have gotten an exotic that has something to do with our like drop uh, thing that takes our dodge away. I think that would have been way better than fucking grapple gives us woven mail. Again, I'm not. I'm not trying to bash that one because like woven mail is super cool. Like it's super super good. It gives you uh, extra resilience and whatnot. It's just it's kind of lackluster i guess because titans are over there have boots that give them a three-way uh strand thing so like for me that's just like way cooler but i mean whatever i'll just I, i'll just play t on titan if i want to do a if i want to play on strand doesn't matter uh way off topic but let's look at how it actually looks so for me uh speed loader slacks look pretty cool uh i'm not gonna say they look trash because i definitely don't think they look trash i, I do think they look cool my only gripe is I just don't know what kind of style this is going for. And it also doesn't help that it doesn't shader well. So before we look at shaders, let me just say this real quick. The armor pieces that you see on the knee pads and like on the shins and even on the on the feet, the top of it, those change color in a weird way. Uh, let's just look at the shaders. Fuck it. So ancient wisdom, you guys will see that it doesn't have its traditional color. And for those of you who have been in my channel for a while, you guys will immediately notice it in Echo Anger. It takes the blue armor. Uh, that's the off color. So the main color will be red. Uh, same thing for Abyssinian and gold. Abyssinian and gold just turns it all black. And if you guys know Abyssinian and gold, and you guys know me specifically, you guys will know that I hate Abyssinian and gold's uh, armor plate color. So it's really weird that it takes the off color because you don't see that in armor. So cryptic insignia, you can also see it takes the blue, which is definitely the off color. It's always white and. I'm not trying to say like this armor armor piece takes shaders terribly because you can work around it. You can definitely do what I did with my example set and just go with an off color look, which is what I did for the example set. Let's look at it right now. For the example set, I ended up going with like a combination of like tactical meets. Uh, I don't know. I, I'm going to be real with you guys. I just kind of like winged it with for this one. But I know the main theme I wanted was off color. 
So the main pieces that I'm using takes off color a lot. And then some, some of the main color as well. So for like a good example would be the psionic stalker grips, uh, the like metal band on the left side of the arm takes the off color, which is gold. But then underneath it, you see the red on the other side, you see the, the scales. It's also red as well. And because I am using the psionic stalker grips, I'm using the wildwood cloak because, uh, it almost has like a netting effect, especially the arms. So that's why I want to combine both of them. I do think the psionic stalker boots are the better choice. If you want to combine the wildwood cloak, because the boots actually have cloaking, like are the, the netting, I should say. The steeplechase vest was an easy choice just because I knew for a fact that takes the off color a lot. So that's why if you want to combine anything in, in this, then just use the steeplechase vest with the new boots and you're going to have some, you're going to have something that looks really, really cool. And then at that point you can change the arms for literally anything else. If you want, you can use the diamonds born arms because those arms do take the off color as well. And it'll actually be a symmetrical. So for those of you who are like, oh, this isn't symmetrical, you can actually switch it out for the diamonds born arms and it will be symmetrical. And then at that point, I'll probably just switch out the wildwood cloak for something else. The pathfinders helm. I just wanted it because it also takes a lot of the off color as well, as you guys can see from the main plate. But overall, the main theme of this was trying to like have a good balance of the off color and the uh, main color in there. So that's why I went with the pieces that I went with. And I, I switched out the new monarchy regalia shader for Abyssinian gold for wildwood cloak, just because I wasn't a fan of the color that Abyssinian or uh, new monarchy regalia gave the cloak. So that's pretty much it. Let me know what you guys think. I definitely like this exotics look. I definitely like it. I do think the exotic perk is just kind of like meh, to be quite honest. I mean, in PVP, it's probably really good, but I just don't really judge an exotic for the, its PVP worth considering PVP doesn't get love. So like, why the fuck would I care about a PVP perk when I don't even see Bungie caring about PVP? Like, it's just so weird. So I know that's a probably not a good reason, but like, again, like why should I care about PVP if Bungie doesn't care about PVP? Like, it's just, it's weird. So I will judge PVP exotics like that, where it's like, I don't care about PVP right now. I love PVP. I think it's an important staple of the franchise, but I don't think Bungie thinks that. So I know that's a huge tangent, but it just, it is what it is, man. So let me know what you guys think. I will have the armor pieces video soon. I'm literally looking at the video or the example sets right now. I'm going to be making a video on that shortly. So if anything, the armor piece videos should be coming up. I think it should probably should have been already up by this time, maybe, but we'll see. But yeah, let me know what you guys think in the comments below. I really do appreciate you guys coming up to this point. Again, the channel has been blowing up and I appreciate you all. Uh, be safe and I'll see you guys later.